Hello, and a very warm welcome to the National Liberal Club. We were founded in 1882, and 130 years later, we're still here in this beautiful clubhouse on the banks of the River Thames, next to Charing Cross and Embankment tube stations. Well, the club was founded by ordinary rank-and-file liberal activists up and down the country because they felt that London club land was far too snobbish, far too elitist and exclusive, and they wanted something that was open to all. And that idea is really just as relevant now as it always has been. It is first and foremost a social club, but it plays a real part in the political and intellectual life of the country. The National Liberal Club is a really special club, A, because it was the first club in history that I know of that allowed women to come in. And secondly, it's a club that welcomes diversity, both in theory and in practice. Within the club, we have a number of special interest groups from the theatre and the arts, literature, politics, economics. We have a shooting circle, we have a golf circle. There really is something there for everyone. The club has lots of really quite unusual architectural features. It was built by Alfred Waterhouse, who was one of the most original and creative architects of the Victorian age. Well known for things like Manchester Town Hall and the Natural History Museum. The club is actually the first ever steel frame building in Europe. You have a huge amount of use of faience tile work, decorative tile work, which is really meant to represent the sort of manufacturing tradition that was the liberal base in the 19th century. Here at the National Liberal Club, we open space for any kind of event, starting from small business meetings to a larger scale event such as classical music concerts or beautiful wedding days. We also welcome various business conferences, birthday parties, also barbecues on our terrace. The Lady Violet Room is a perfect space for small intimate events such as private dinners, birthday parties or smaller business events. Obviously, there have been a huge number of well-known political members over the years, just about every liberal politician you can think of in Britain, including our first president, Gladstone. Interesting are some of our literary members as well. Uh, you have people like Bram Stoker, H.G. Wells, who are active members, Leonard Wolfe. Churchill is obviously one of the biggest names that we have amongst our members. He was a member for 19 years throughout his time as a liberal MP. We're called the National Liberal Club, but you don't have to be a member of the Liberal Democrats to join. We do have very close links with the National Party. The party holds its press conferences here in the club, and we have lots of special interest groups. We have over 260 reciprocal clubs around the world in currently 60 countries, but we are constantly adding to these. This enables our members to enjoy a home from home when they're traveling. Our experience team, we take a great pride in what we do. Every team member works above and beyond in making sure that every single detail has been followed. To come into a club where I feel at home, where I feel loved, where I feel cared for, draw me to the club. If you want an oasis of calm in central London, somewhere to be able to come in and have a meal, to meet like-minded people, our age range goes from 17 to over 100. We've got something for everyone. Mm -hmm.